Well, I'm stood here in front of the first Merlin Mark IV aircraft, the first of 25 that Leonardo helicopters are converting from Merlin Mark III 3A to Merlin Mark IV 4A. This first aircraft is now in the tr development programme. It is completed assembly and has currently flown in excess of 50 hours of supporting the qualification and acceptance of the aircraft into service. The second, third and fourth aircraft are all in the factory in various stages of conversion and trials and the programme will continue through until the end of 2020 with delivery of the final aircraft. The first aircraft will actually be delivered into service early in, 20, in 2018 out to RNS Yeovilton uh, to support the uh, Royal Navy flights uh, and replacement of the Seeking Mark IV programme. We are looking to try and standardise the aircraft as best we can with the Merlin Mark II programme. So we are adopting a common cockpit so it looks and feels the same as the Merlin Mark II. We are also ship optimising the aircraft. The Merlin Mark III was a land-based aircraft. The Merlin Mark IV will be a ship-capable aircraft. As a result of that, we are also going to add blade and tail fold capability, as well as operating other parts of the aircraft to make it operable and supportable on ships at sea. We have two aircraft in the test programme at the moment. The first aircraft, which is stood here, has done around about 50 hours so far. Primarily, it's been simulator data gathering and we've also been doing some uh, radio work with it as well. Second aircraft has just come out and uh, that uh, has been flying this week and next week and we expect this aircraft to rejoin the test programme sometime later this week or early next week. There's several things planned for both aircraft. Um, we are, there's extensive radio testing to be doing. Uh, we have various radio fits which we've not used before. Uh, also the navigation equipment within the aircraft has changed and there are several um, systems within it which all need to be tested at various stages in various conditions. Also, the first aircraft, we're doing an extensive five-week uh, deck trial, which will be taking place later on in the year. As far as testing of the airframe and the aircraft is concerned, it's very little difference apart from the, the, the radio fit and the navigation fit. The two aircraft have completely different roles. However, as far as uh, pilots are concerned, uh, sat at the front, the aircraft are identical. The cockpit layout is the same, the computer systems are the same, and uh, the integration is also the same. Number one aircraft um, has been doing a considerable amount of work uh, within its 50 hours flying so far, uh, gathering data for the simulator. Um, there is still some more work to be done in that area, uh, especially the, the low speed type maneuvers. Um, and this data is uh, correlated and then used in the simulator, which will be built for this aircraft.